We've already seen how we can sketch more z-spheres on top of a single z-sphere. Now let's take a look at how we can build a z-sphere armature and then add z-sphere sketching on top of that. The reason I'm going to call it a z-sphere armature is much like a clay sculptor would build a wire armature before they start adding the clay to have a base for their form, we can do the same thing with these z-spheres. So we'll quickly just pull out a basic shape that we want to do some sketching on top of. Now once you have the base that you want to work with, just like before, we'll simply hit Shift A. We can now start sketching on top of the model. Hold Shift to smooth. What's great about this process is that at any point you can hit Shift A and go back to your armature z-spheres and you can continue the creation process by simply extruding out new z-spheres to work with. Again, once you have these new armature z-spheres set up, you simply hit Shift A to go back to that sketch mode. Now you've already learned the keyboard shortcut Shift A, which transitions me between this standard z-sphere mode where I set up the armature and the sketching mode. But take note that in your tool palette you have a drop down here called z-sketch. You'll notice a button here that says edit sketch. This is what the Shift A shortcut is activating. So we can simply click this here to move back to our standard z-spheres and work with the armature or click edit sketch to move into the z-sketch z-spheres. Now you notice when we're in this mode, we can actually move our armature around. So if I rotate this and then hit Shift A, you'll see that we moved our armature, but our sketch Z sphere stayed in place. I'm going to hit Shift A and then Control Z to put those arms back down. You'll also notice in the Z sketch pull down that there's another button here that says Show Sketch. This will give us our sketch Z spheres in a ghosted outline on top of the armature z-spheres, so we can see the model that we're working with. That way if I do any movement of my armature, I can see where I'm moving it. Now you would expect the z-spheres to move with the armature. Of course we can do that too. You'll also notice in the z-sketch pull-down that you have a button here called Bind. At this stage, now that I'm showing the z-spheres, I can click Bind, and if I decide to rotate these arms, the sketch z-spheres will come along with it. So I can rotate my armature, move my armature, and even scale pieces of my armature. And that'll affect the sketch z-spheres that were laid on top of the armature z-spheres. I can then click Shift A or simply click Edit Sketch here in the z-sketch pull-down to continue adding z-sketch spheres. At any point in the process, if I want to continue moving the armature underneath the Z-Sketch spheres, all I need to do is press Edit Sketch here in the Z-Sketch pull-down. I have Bind active, and then I can continue rotating. Now you'll notice as I rotate, the new Z-spheres that I just laid down and sketched on top of the model aren't sticking with the armature. You can solve this easily by simply clicking Reset Bind underneath the Bind button. This will reset the bind for all the new z-spheres that you just sketched in. Next to the bind button, you notice that you have a soft bind slider. This is going to adjust how rigid or soft the bind is to the model. So for instance, if you want things to be very rigid, you'll keep the slider all the way to zero. If we want to have a little bit softer of a deformation between the armature z-spheres and the sketch z-spheres, we'll simply turn this soft bind up and click Reset Bind. Now we'll have a softer transition between those z-spheres. So when we're working with something like this that has muscles, we might want to add a little bit of the soft bind to the model. Again, I'll press Edit Sketch to continue adding z-spheres.
So what's very powerful about this process as you continue to work on the model, at any point you can decide to get into a specific area that you can't see by simply resetting your bind and then repositioning pieces of your model.